Hello everyone, it's Evgeny here at NoCode Genius, and today I wanted to go through something that I recently did. So this is a clonable called Ledger Nano X. I created this as a clonable. Uh, this is based on design I made, and we already have an overview and a video on this parallax effect. So today I want to create another micro lesson, and that will be on the auto rotating tabs. Now this is something that I took as inspiration from Nicholas Bain, who created this video, and I'll be linking this as well. Um, and yeah, this is exactly what I want to covered today and let's get into it. All right. So before we go through the custom code script, first things first, we've got to take a look at the structure here. So this is the section holding the auto rotating tabs. You've got the flex that this whole flex wrapper that is holding basically the headline and the paragraph. And we've got the tabs component. Now the tab component has an animation set to it, which is basically once it's in view, it's going to grow something like this. And it's got two elements in it, tab content and tab menu. So tab content has four tabs in it, just like there are four tab links. Uh, each tab content uh, slide has now each tab has an image and this is a GIF. So here you go, it's a GIF. And now we're going to take a look at the tab menu. So there are four tabs. They're created in the following manner. Let me just, they're created in the following manner. We've got the content and we got the background. So tab link has the content and the background. And basically that's what we're animating. We create an animation uh, that once the slide, uh, once the tab is changed, the background goes from zero to 100% in width, and the opacity of the content goes from zero or not, no, my bad, from 60% to 100%. So this is basically the way that the animation looks like. Now, once the tab has completed its cycle, what happens is that they go out so the size goes back to zero immediately of the tab uh, background color and the opacity goes to zero immediately or to 60 percent in opacity immediately so zero second timing or duration now with that in mind uh we have set the animation so once the tab is uh, clicked or once the tab is now in cycle and once it's out of cycle what's going on and from there, it was as easy as adding this animation. Uh, this is the animation. And basically, this is the script that I took from Nicholas Bain. And there was this video that I talked about. And basically, all we need to do is set the duration right here. And we're taking at some we we're taking a look at some um, at some classes so auto tab link you'll see that this is also there um, so tab menu that's there auto tab link first that's there auto tab link so once it's clicked it's clearing the timeout so the loop can begin again so it is a pretty simple thing. You just need to set the duration and the duration needs to be the same within this uh, tab change animation. So you'll see that this is happening in six seconds. And if you go to the script, you'll see that that's the exact timing, 6,000 milliseconds, which is equivalent to six seconds. Lastly, you are just basically re exchanging the classes. So um, this one and this one, and you'll be good to go. Also, there is a tab menu, so you need to specify which wrapper it is. That's the tab menu. And there we go. There, here it is. Um, and that's pretty much that. That's how you set up your auto rotating tab. 
please do take a look at the Nicholas Baines video who talks more about the actual setup. I think that it's a pretty simple changing of classes, so not much needs to be said here. Hope you find the video useful. If you do, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And also feel free to clone the clonable I created.